Over to our correspondent reporting from the town of Soggy Bottom on the North Sea coast. Thank you. I'm here because we have heard reports that a storm surge is expected to hit this town over the next few hours. With me, I've got Professor Gale Force, storm expert from the weather station. Professor Force, I've heard about the tropical cyclones generating storm surges, but do we really get them in the UK? Yes, we get storm surges in the UK when the weather and tide combine to cause the sea level to be much higher than normal, leading to coastal flooding. At the moment, there is a low pressure system, a depression, near the north of Scotland. The low pressure means that there is less air pushing down on the sea surface, so we see a bulge in the water height under the centre of the storm. For each one millibar the air pressure falls, the sea surface rises one centimetre. Thank you, Professor Force. We're standing next to Soggy Bottom's new tidal barrier, together with one of the engineers, Millie Barr, responsible for designing it. Are you nervous about whether the barrier will protect Soggy Bottom from flooding? We're expecting the sea level to be over 1.5 metres above the normal sea level today, but that's well within the range the new barrier is designed to handle. We realised after the 2013 storm surge that places like Soggy Bottom urgently needed better protection from the sea. The barrier prevents seawater from moving up the river at a very high tide. It's low tide at the moment. We'll close the barrier just as a high tide approaches to allow the river to run out into the sea for as long as possible. The movement of the moon around the earth means that there are days each month when the high tide is particularly high. A storm surge happens when a depression coincides with an extremely high tide. What's happening now, Professor Force? We're starting to see the sea level rise here. Winds blow in an anti-clockwise direction around a depression. As this depression is moving towards Norway, this means that we've got northerly winds blowing down the east coast of the UK. The wind is pushing the bulge of seawater from under the storm down the North Sea. As the North Sea narrows and gets shallower towards East Anglia, the water is funnelled into a smaller space and the sea level rises. The Coriolis effect, which means that any moving object in the northern hemisphere is pulled to the right, means that all that extra water is being pushed towards us in Soggy Bottom on Sea and other places on the east coast of England. As well as that, the strong winds from the storm are producing very high waves. I'd say that the wave height out there is at least four metres. Millie, why is Soggy Bottom on Sea particularly vulnerable? Here at Soggy Bottom on Sea, we've seen a lot of surrounding coastlines eroded by storm surges in the past. The gently sloping sea floor means that we get higher surges here, and the soft rock means that cliffs can be eroded by the waves really easily. In 2013, a few houses near the cliff tops just vanished into the sea. It's high tide now, the most dangerous time, and the barrier was closed a couple hours ago. The people of Soggy Bottom have been watching the water levels anxiously, but... So far, we haven't seen any flooding in the town at all. This was nothing like the floods of 1953. I remember my auntie telling me about it. A whole chunk of the coast just got washed away. There was no warning, no news reporters telling anyone what was about to happen back then. So hundreds of people and thousands of animals died. As the climate changes, sea levels are rising particularly here in the south of England. We're also expecting our winter weather to get stormier, so it's good that places like Soggy Bottom and Sea are preparing for higher storm surges. As well as the East Coast, places like the Bristol Channel are also vulnerable. Thanks. We're beginning to get reports of flooding at other places along the coast. Stay safe, everyone.